Hello, CEO. Let me give you an update on Project Radar. Uh, so first of all, you mentioned that you want to know how Project Radar will relate to and support the RMF. Well, the answer is that the components of Project Radar corresponds to our RMF structure very nicely. The taxonomy component will complete our risk categories. The model risk policies will strengthen our board settings. And the people management component will contribute to our risk governance, compliance, and culture. And the model risk management process component will improve our current risk management process. And the techniques used throughout Project Radar will enrich our toolbox of the specialist ERM techniques. Well, the next question you asked me is about the key considerations during the implementation of Project Radar. Uh, so there are five considerations based on the project components. Number one, the taxonomy development should follow a uh, bottom-up and top-down approach uh, for consistency and user buy-in. And number two, the policies should be hierarchical and principle-based to be both useful and stable. And number three, uh, people management should balance rules and culture to both the discipline and the motivated people. And number four, the process design should be parsimonious and automated for uh, consistency and users buy-in. And number five, the techniques should be modularized for synergy and smoother integration with our RMF. Then it comes to the interesting uh, model ranking assignment you gave me. Uh, I've done a framework design to resolve ranking conflicts by a set of weighted criteria and a procedure to remove bias. Uh, the criteria serve as the end-to-end uh, -end modeling best practice, and it can be divided into four root causes, like uh, input, model, output, and objectives. Each root cause can be split into branches and leaves. Uh, branch criteria include uh, data quality, uh, assumption validity, model explainability, model governance, uh, output validation, uh, early warning system, model suitability, and application scope. And these criteria are part of the risk assessment step of the uh, process component of the project radar, uh, which is integrated into our RMF. Or well, using these criteria, model one gets a score of 5.66, and model two gets a score of 6.16. So uh, model two is slightly riskier than model one for, uh, for model governance and output validation. Uh, finally, uh, you asked me to propose a set of controls for um, model risks. I propose an end-to-end -end control framework based on the end-to-end -end best practice and the um, assessment criteria. Okay, the uh, control framework can be divided into uh, input control, um, model control, output control, and objectives control. Uh, to implement this control framework, we will need about five weeks and the support from the uh, modelers and the risk function. And this framework is measurable, uh, achievable, generalizable, and cost-effective. Compared to other options, this control framework can measure model risk consistently and uh, focus more on prevention than remedy, which makes more sense, right? So to recap, the project is on schedule. And project data is useful and promising, and it will uh, bring governance to the modeling work and nurture a great uh, risk culture and improve our existing uh, RMF. Uh, the next steps are, number one, help the model owners to uh, improve model one and model two against the proposed criteria. And number two, finalize the uh, uh, model risk assessment framework for your review and sign off. And number three, uh, prepare a uh, project plan to kick off the control framework. Uh, that's all I want to share today. Uh, thank you for your time. Chat later.